Hey you guys, it's Tawana from A Blended Dream and I am back today with another haul and I have a co-host today. It is Stormy Monroe Taylor White right here. Say hi Stormy. Say hi to the people mama. Not to me, to the people. We're still working on it. We're still working on it. I am back today with another haul. I am going to be filming my Goose Creek candle haul. Um, don't mind Stormy back there and to everyone. Yes, she has on a diaper. Um, she will go potty on her P-mat, the number two, but she's a Yorkie. She's small. Her bladder is very tiny and she's always having to go, num always having to go yarn and I just can't trust her. I can't have Stormy peeing all through the house. And so we keep a diaper on her and no, she does not keep on the same diaper all day because Stormy is, I mean, she's horrible. Um, we change her diaper about three times a day because she gets them pretty soaking wet. These diapers have a stripe on them. So it's yellow now. When she starts to use the bathroom, it turns blue. So just in case anyone have any questions. If you are new to our channel, I say welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have been with us since the beginning, we appreciate you greatly. If you are a frequent, a frequent flyer, go ahead. If you're coming back to watch, just hit that big red subscribe button. And to all our newbies, um, our new family, everyone is welcome here. There is no discrimination, old, young, new, LGBTQ. LGBTQ because we are a same-sex family everyone Christians whatever you want it everyone is welcome to our channel um, like I said we do not discriminate I am Tawanda I have my wife Alexis that's my better half then we have our oldest son Trey he will be a junior in the fall in college we have our son Jaden he will be a junior in high school in the fall we have um, some foster babies we'll talk about it another day we just have so much going on we um we are fostering to adopt but we'll talk about that another time we have our five-year-old pug rocky he's not here i promise you it's like we have split custody with my sister misha because she comes and get him and she's like can i keep him for two days and she'll have him for like two weeks but he loves it there so he just went with her yesterday so he probably won't be here for another week and a half too i have to call her and be like listen can you bring my baby home it's time for him to go to the vet or it's time for him to go to the groomers and that's how i get him home and then i keep him home for a week or two and then she's calling like after after two days she's like well when can I get them back but that's just another story then we have our baby stormy who we I introduced earlier um, she is a Yorkie a Yorkie AKC and she is definitely the baby our fur baby of the house uh, stormy Rocky Rocky Mountain we call him Rocky for short is spoiled but stormy is on a whole nother level of spoil she is rotten but let me just be honest all of our children are very spoiled and my wife she's spoiled too although she may try to deny it she's pretty spoiled especially with my time and just with me she's pretty spoiled so let's get in um our channel we are a family channel we talk we do trips we do um vacations we do hauls we do cooking we do everything on this channel i really love doing hauls um that's just what I love. I love vlogging as well, but I love doing hauls because most of the time it's all the things that I have ordered. Um, and sometimes some of the things my wife has ordered, but my wife also does hauls. She does the majority of our grocery hauls. I excuse that. That is our um, alarm system panel and we have the camera and someone must be walking by or something. But excuse that um, dinging in the background. But my wife does most of all most of our grocery hauls i usually create the grocery list and i will help do the shopping and most of the time after she does the haul i put things up because i like things in a specific order and everything placed because i am i do 99 percent of the cooking my wife you know she does some things but i just love cooking but we love cooking but i love cooking but we both love to cook but i do the majority of the cooking and things like that so just stick around come along before i get started on this haul i just want to say i hope you all are well with all of this virus going around 
um, I just want to shout out to all of our um, first responders out there and I, that includes people retail workers the doctors the firefighters the police officers everyone who are who everyone that is essential out there that's putting their life on the line for us that is that has been taken away from their families due to what's going on just because they don't want to pass on um the virus or what they've been exposed to i want you to know that you are greatly appreciated and that we are praying for you all so let's get started with this haul now goose creek goose creek i did a haul earlier um I think last month i did a haul and i have purchased just a lot of their regular candles and i like the regular candles they're okay but i have purchased um a, well three aroma therapy candles for my wife but only one had come off that time had come at that time because they were shipping them in um i guess in batches just maybe because they were closed maybe because they were out of them i don't know but i burned that aromatherapy candle okay she burned it okay 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 i helped her burn it and it was everything when i say it was it was a big fragrance it wasn't too it wasn't strong like your nose is burning but it was perfect so i was like you know what with goose creek i am sticking to the um aromatherapy line i really love um bath and body works candles they are very pricey but i buy the bulk of my candle during candle day if you all don't know about candle day go ahead and um my, i'm gonna ask my wife to link the candle day video down below they do candle day once a month i mean i lied once a year and it's usually the first saturday in december but i will keep you all up on that that's one of candles this year um last year the candles were i think 950 but in prior years they've been they have been eight dollars 850 they do put a limit on how many candles you can purchase but your girl got it all worked out if they say it's 15 i get 15 my wife get 15 um we order offline and a lot of times we go back that afternoon and when i say it's like a black friday it's like a black friday because it's different states different stores open at different times and we were out there last december at i think 5 30 in the morning and we thought we were going to be like number 10 in line and we was like number 45 or 50 i'm just being honest people were out there waiting so that's enough of that and but don't worry i still do buy candles do um throughout the year usually they're just ones that i really really want and then i get gifts um and uh, like i said they their semi-annual sale is coming up in june i haven't really seen bath and body works um put i mean they drop ten dollars off their candles because their candles are usually like 25 dollars but i haven't seen like a uh 1250 off the candles yet or anything like that but that just could be because the semi-annual sale is coming up in june so i've been holding off really purchasing any candles from them at this time goose creek their candles are equally as equally as expensive their candles are about 27 dollars but they have had a sale um and their candles have been like 12 dollars 10 dollars 10 50 and i am all for that um so let's get started this first one i'm gonna do is called gentle touch and it's um rose sandalwood and vanilla um what i did was i never smelled these before once i purchased the one aromatherapy candle i just went ahead and i think i purchased everything out of off their line that they had in aromatherapy but the stress that's because they were out of um they were out um and then they had another one i can't remember that one but they didn't have it but as soon as they come back in stock i'm gonna go ahead and get those but this one is called gentle touch is rose sandalwood and vanilla you definitely you definitely can smell the rose on it um I'm not really smelling too much of the vanilla and maybe as I burn it but on cold it smells great so I am hoping that um, it's gonna burn well and here you go with that and this is a large and it's the two wick all right sorry you guys oh, let me just take the packaging off that and don't mind stormy she's my co-host 
usually she will help sniff the candles but rocky mountain i'm gonna have to do a video with him he does the best sniffing and let me know if it's a it's a thumbs up stormy yeah she's a little on and off with that so if she participates you know not just kind of enjoy her walking around on my bed in her diaper um this one is called energize and it's a citrus and ginger and it has lemon ginger and um wood it has i guess so, and essential oils so it's citrus and ginger with natural essential oils and i wasn't sure about this when i purchased it but it smells pretty good like i said i definitely just wanted to give the aromatherapy line um a chance because of the one i had and you can smell you definitely can smell the orange off this so i'm gonna enjoy this restful now this is what got this is what started me on the aromatherapy scent it was restful that came in first um i really wanted to just buy like 15 restfuls but i was like you know what let me give the whole line a try and the ones that i really like i will purchase more but restful this lavender and vanilla it has lavender sandalwood and vanilla in it and let me tell you you can smell the vanilla, but you can also smell the lavender. And said, no, listen, it is everything. When I tell you it's everything, I was burning this in our bathroom like dorm bath time, but it carry it was carrying from the bathroom out of our room to the kitchen, all the way, like basically through most of the house. And when I tell you it smells wonderful, I burnt this thing down. Listen, when I say Oh, I should have kept it. When I burn the next one, I will tell you. I will show you the empty glass. When I tell you, nothing was left but the metal wick thing. And, and I mean like corners of the candle um, wax. This thing, sm this smells amazing. So, um, I know sometimes things smell really good on cold. But when it comes to... Hold on, you guys. I hope you can see that yeah but when it comes to like the like actually burning it is not the best but when i tell you it smells amazing on cold and then um burning it i mean i'm telling you this restful is everything As a matter of fact when i get off here i'm gonna go online if they have if they haven't sold out i'm gonna order like five more of these today but um i don't know i am big on candles i love candles i research candles i want you all to know that wax has a memory and what i mean by memory is you have to be careful how you're burning your candles if you find that your candle is pooling meaning like it's like you have all of this wax and it's burning straight through you can wrap you can wrap your uh candle in aluminum foil um different things like that but i'm going to do a whole video on that because you need to be getting the most candles are very expensive i don't care if you're just paying five dollars that's expensive for a candle um and you want to make sure you're getting the best of your candle so i'm going to do a whole video on your candles how you burn your candles um if they're pooling if you're having problems with your wicks i'm, I'm going to do a whole video on that so stay tuned for that and i got one that's called focus this one is green tea and hemp so hemp green tea and leaves with natural essential oils this one this one has a a i want to say a almost masculine and that could be the hemp and the leaves i'm not sure it has almost like a masculine smell but it's not like a cologne smell where it's so strong you're like oh you did too much but it has like a woodsy it does have like a woodsy smell um and i am definitely um i used to burn candles in the boys room but i don't know about that anymore so what we went and we purchased the uh, um a wax warmer for their room and i'm definitely probably going to get a few of these for the boys room as far as wax to burn in their room and i'll probably have some for our oldest son to take back to school with him because he's getting he loves candles as well but he's not getting any candles because i don't even think they're supposed to be burning candles in the college dorms or apartments so i'm gonna get he wants a bigger wax um burner i probably we're probably gonna order him for his birthday because his birthday is august 24th and i'll have a bunch of these wax um for him 
Sorry, you guys. And I got one that's called Comforting. And this is lavender and caramel with amber in it. And this one too. Oh, you want to participate? Okay, she's here. I don't know if you can see her. Um, I don't know if you can see her. Here, Stormy. What do you think? She usually smells, but Rocky does it much better. And she must really like this one because she was over there. And as soon as I opened this one, she came in. So what do you think about that? Is that a plus? Is that a yes? You like this one? You you do? Okay. All right. She likes this one. She likes this one. Um, I'm trying to get uh, my fur babies into candles as well. And I like for them to smell them. They have a great sense of smell. And they usually let me know if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down. Like I said, if she participates, it's okay. If she doesn't, that's okay too. But I think she likes this one because as soon as I opened this one, she just came right over to smell. So I'm thinking that uh, this comforting is a go. You definitely, I want to say, I can smell a hint. I can smell a hint of the lavender, but for the most part, I smell the caramel and the amber. What do you think, Stormy? You think? Yeah, don't lick the thing. So, yeah, I think this one is an, a go. So, with this comforting, I mean, I want to see how it smells when I am... Um, look, Stormy. I want to see how it burns, and I will let you all know. Um, and this is a go for her and I do have a wax warmer that I burn close to her crate and look, she seems to like this one and don't tell me she's a dog and she sniffs everything listen we have something going on here don't ruin it for us um she hasn't come over to smell anything else but like I said as soon as I op opened this when she came over I might get some of this in the wax form to burn in the wax warmer that's near her all right oh this is another restful i ordered two of these i didn't realize it but uh, hey i love restful you know i did order two because my wife says when i give her the aromatherapies when they smell good i just take them and burn them in the other parts of the house which i probably do come on come on sorry so i got one for the bathroom our bathroom and i'm gonna probably just burn one in the other parts of the house hopefully you guys can see this that was just another restful. All together, six, I have eight candles and one wax um, set that I purchased. This one is called Refresh and it has, uh, I want to say Neroli, Neroli and Citrus. So it says Neroli, Citrus and Blooms with Natural Essential Oils. Um, this one, I don't know. This one has more like, um, let me see. You can smell the citrus a little bit but i guess it's not really in the blooms i guess the blooms is probably supposed to be like flowers because i can almost smell like the like the flowers in it and let me just be honest you guys i don't like a lot of floral scents because to me it smells like the funeral home i'm just being honest um i am you ask my wife some things just make my skin crawl Certain materials remind me that of the inside of a casket. We you know, will not buy, cannot buy, will not have in a house. And some smells too. But that's a whole nother story on why I have the creepy crawlies and what's going on with that. And then my last candle, candle number eight, is quietness. And this has patchouli. I pr I'm probably enunciating it incorrect, but Choli, Patchouli, P-A-T-H-O-U-L-I, and Vanilla with, with a woodsy. So this right here also, oh, hold on, you guys. I didn't put Restful up there. I'm sorry. Um, This one also has like a masculine scent. The quietness it's not a like I said a overpowering scent but it's very masculine and to be honest with you now that I don't burn candles in the boys room I would probably still burn this in the area near their room um, I wouldn't want the whole house smelling like this not that there's anything wrong with um, a masculine scent we have two sons oh well it's we're gonna well 
four, but um, I would burn this like in that area near their rooms and uh, near their rooms, near their bathroom area. Yeah, and I would probably also get this in a wax for their room. You can smell, I can smell a hint of the vanilla the vanilla but I can I guess the other one is um, patchouli as well I don't know but and it does have that woozy smell as well oh let's see that's what this one looks like okay and I also wanted to tell you that all the candles from um, Goose Creek are soy candles I mean soy wax they're all soy based candles that smells pretty that I mean it smells pretty good and last but not least um i did get a wax for the boys room um i fell in love with the um, restful and i was like i gotta have that for them and um this is what it oh, this is what it looks like there you go and that's that same lavender vanilla it smells great it's restful so i definitely ordered that for their room um with their room with their wax i do all the changing out i don't let them handle any of that i don't i we do it my wife and myself mostly me um my wife she likes candles but more of anything she just feeds she feeds my habit um we all are a collector of certain things and like certain things mine just happens to be candles and lip gloss and little things like that so um yeah my baby yeah my co-host she got tired on the dirty you all see her back there laying down um yeah so that's what that is about tell me where if you all are lover lovers of candles or wax or scented things let me know in the comments down below let me know where you're shopping at because i am willing to try different things um goose creek was new to me i have a few ladies who follow me on instagram they're lovers of candles and wax and different things like that they put me on the goose creek i tried it and i am hooked now some of the scents that they like that they were raving about they smell pretty good but they're just not for me although i purchased them i will burn them or i will give them away um, as gifts not that they smell horrible but you know everybody have their own likes and dislikes but this aromatherapy line that is just going to be my thing um like i said i tried their eastern line i wasn't a big fan of some of that but the aromatherapy i'm really thinking that's my thing um i am grateful to my wife that she i don't want to say allows me but she supports my habit you know she doesn't like anytime i want to order a candle she's not complaining she's like okay and let me be honest she's even um started saving for me for candle day this year she told me um i am this last year i had i went in the store and i think i got about 32 to 34 candles i think but i had ordered some online as well and this year i think i'm gonna hit maybe around maybe 40 to 50 candles this year that's what i'm going for for candle day and the great thing about bath and body work say if you go to candle day and you purchase candles that you really don't like you can take them in and trade them out even when spring comes you can switch them candles out so don't knock it um once again that is the uh, it for my haul today tell me what you think about my haul tell me if you think i'm going wrong tell me if there's another candle and you're like look you need to try this i'm willing i don't care if it's from walmart anywhere i am willing to try it if it's a good price if it's a uh, I like uh high intensity smells like the smell of that you know to smell through the whole house or in that area let me know what you guys are doing um don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share our video. And thank you again for all of your support. We greatly appreciate you. Until next time, until our next haul. All of our social medias will be linked down below. Um, my wife has her own channel, um, Journey Takoya's Journey. Um, we have our couples channel, Tailored to You. All of that, our Instagrams, everything will be linked down below. Thank you again for all of your love and support. Until next time, bye you guys.